three days and a 900 mile drive later, Guy is in Bavaria, southern Germany. It's a nice part of the world out here, isn't it? Oh, look at that. What a view. Big old orders on these cows over here, boy. He's heading to the field used as the location for the iconic motorcycle jump in The Great Escape. There it is behind me, see it? Over the next two days, Guy's aim is to first recreate the movie jump over a five-foot fence, and then go one better, clearing the eight-foot fence into which Steve McQueen's character crashed. What do we call it? Our sort of mini film set. Got uh, the meat wagon here, just in case. Got a night eater on it as well. See the, the little exhaust? Night eater. Germans do the job right, don't they? These are the lads building the fence. They're building the fence in here. You see? We've got the butty van here, which is very important, isn't it? You all right, boss? Thanks, Sean. My German's coming on, I'm flying, you see. That's the bike I've had at mine for, what, a month? With the spare bike there. There's Paul's van from Bickers with the jump on the back. And then you've got my uniform somewhere. Where's my uniform? Yeah. Oh, you've got it here, right. So, chinos and blue. I don't know what chinos are. I don't know. I thought that sounds like a, sounds like a, that's what they are. Right, OK. Well, it's what Steve McQueen was wearing, so you're going to try and make me look like Steve McQueen. I don't know if I can do yeah. Long before Guy gets into his chinos, Paul and Andy need to build the jump. And they know where they want it. We first came out here on a recce beginning of the year to suss out the exact place we're going to put the jump. We knew exactly where we were going to do it. But since the recce, things have changed. When we arrived, we'd noticed where we were going to originally jump and run off was all taped out. It was somebody else's field and we weren't allowed on there. Bloody hell, we're a bit tight to that fence, weren't we? Yeah, so it really threw in a curveball. You were landing down about here, which is not, not really enough um, distance. That's a bit of a pisser, isn't it? Andy wants to dig the ramp exactly where it was 57 years ago, giving Guy plenty of runoff after his landing. But since the recce, a neighbouring farmer has put up fences as he doesn't want the team using his land. And that almost wipes out Guy's landing area. Farmer Joseph, who owns the jump field, makes it clear that Guy can't go past the fences. It's because it's not just Joseph's land, it's everyone else's land, and Joseph doesn't want to piss his mates off. So he's trying to keep everyone happy and not upsetting Joseph's neighbours, because upsetting Joseph's neighbours will upset Joseph, and we don't want to upset Joseph. The only solution is to move the ramp back a few metres, but it seems Farmer Joseph doesn't want that either. Can we not? So war auch der Sprung von Steve McQueen. He's saying if they're having any ideas of having it anywhere else other than here, then I'll give them their money back and we can call it a day and that's it. Couldn't argue with Joseph because he held all the cards. And if he's saying, take your money and bugger off, well, then you have to listen. After some tense negotiations by local fixer Kevin, Joseph agrees to compromise. It's not ideal, but this is really where we need to start. And work finally begins. At least now. We're moving muck, so we're getting a bit of progress. The German farmer driving the digger was an absolute legend. It went really well. That's good, it's good. While Andy oversees the trench dig, Guy continues to work on improving Anglo-German relations. Thanks, sir. <laughs> hey, Kev, he's happy. We're not annoying anyone, are we? No, no, is, this all, is this OK? This is all OK. And discovers that farmer Joseph actually saw the original jump. Joseph was 16 years old. OK. And he was helping out on the film set as well. He was 16. on the tractor. Joseph can really remember um, Steve McQueen coming down. He used to come down every morning. And did Steve McQueen ever do the jump? Oh, uh, Steve did. McQueen, he's always been thanks for him. Yeah, he jumped. He did do yeah. the jump? Yeah. yeah. Joseph was saying he used to come every day, riding around the field, mucking about, mucking about. He just loved riding bikes. Yeah, he and you saw uh, Steve McQueen yeah, do yeah, the jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You he's, saw him? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. His dad taught him how to roll fags. Joseph, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Great stories. We started off on a bit of a wrong foot with Joseph, but I think now he's on side. Joseph disappeared. Back he comes with his tractor and loader, and he's helping us unloading ramps. He's bringing things across. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, I'm 100% happy with that. That's good. <laughs> Made some measure, boy. I think we've left a good impression on Bavaria, hopefully. Looks half all right, really, doesn't it? I didn't think it'd look as good as that. With the ramp in place, 
Guy decides that before the fence gets built, he wants to put in some practice jumps to be certain that he has enough room to land. Just have a go, feel what the grass is like, see how you can kind of break when you're landing. Yeah. Get what? Get woed up. Let's get woed up. Get woed up? Yeah. All right, you're woed when it also. Whoa. Oh, get woed up. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You see? Yeah. So get a motocross bike, just try it quick. Because it'll slow if, a bit easier, it, won't it? Do you it? know what? That's up to you. I think I would rather. No, I say take it gently and just feel it out. The guy doesn't work like that. He just kind of goes for it. First jump was massive, wasn't it? I'm not, was he massive? It was massive. Was he massive? You hit that quicker than you need to and you flew over there. I smashed my head on the handlebars. <laughs> it's all right. Took a load of paint off my helmet, yeah. That's like 57 foot. 57 foot, yeah. We only actually need 17 foot less than that. OK, right, OK. Right. Guy tries again, but his jumping gets worse. There wasn't one big thing he was doing wrong. You know that was front wheel first, you don't want to do that. No. And there were just tiny little things he was doing wrong. Yeah, just like I had to jump up and then try, boom, sack of shit. Do you feel you're hitting the ground like a sack of shit? Yeah, every time. Guy's heavy landings are now having a big impact on the ankle he injured earlier in the week. Bang, smacking me ankles, smacking me ankles, smacking me ankles. Not me doing myself any favours. It was an absolute disaster. Just felt beaten. Yeah, I'll tell you what we do. Well, we'll sling her in the van and we'll go shit up us tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just hanging up my head in it. Yeah. We're not gaining anything here. The only thing that's going to be gained here is broken bones. Yeah, I'm just no, fucking myself up. I'm just fucking yeah. myself up. Yeah. I've been about motorbikes long enough to know when it's not going right, do not try and make it happen. Don't try and make it happen. You've just got to know when enough's enough. Yeah. We're digging the old deeper, boys. <laughs> just put it in the van. Put it in the van and then tomorrow's another day.